Welcome to Keith's Woodshop. Yesterday for Christmas, my son got a couple knives, and today I'm going to make a box for them. And you get to watch. All right, every good job starts with a nice cup of, cup of coffee, cup of java, cup of tea, cup of joe. Let's all have at it. Let's get this started. And now we need to make some sides. And we'll use this old piece. It used to be the door jam that same house. House was built in 1861, so these boards kind of old, but still pretty solid. And this, this is Odin. Here's my kitten. He's eight months old now. All right, buddy? You're here to help, or are you here to get in my way? What do you think? Yeah. Ow, ow. He still has claws. It's like giving a baby knives. All right, buddy. Let's get to it. Okay, now I'm going to flatten this surface right here, the top surface right now, of this uh, prior door jam piece for the sides. And we use this beast, Stanley Bailey number seven. It is quite big. Never used it. I got it at the uh, flea market for 20 bucks. Only problem is some more on drill holes in it. I'm guessing to hang it on the wall like it was some sort of plaque. Maybe a uh, man cave, or what these people call these things. So now, I'm going to get this thin edge, flat, straight across. It's time for a little coffee break. That's enough. To start with, to bring this um, thin edge down to be square with you know, the first surface we did. And straight across, I'm going to start with my number three Stanley Type 8. I got this one at a, an estate sale a couple months ago. Very nice. Let's see how it does. station here and I've cut myself two pieces six inches by six inches and in which I will resaw and do four pieces six by six first roughly 12 inches The saw and miter box, miter jig, whatever this thing is, it's not really a box, but it is about 70 years old. I picked it up for 15 bucks. Let's go. Okay, so our next step is going to be splitting these big thick boards into two thinner boards. Alright, they are currently one inch thick. Take our old Stanley marking gauge, drop that down to a half inch. And we gotta see if we have first half inch here. Which I don't even see that. Where's the camera hiding? There it is. Two lines. I did not get it right on a half an inch. Bring it in a little bit. We land right between those two lines, then we're nowhere centered. All right. 
So I'm going to continue that mark all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Even over here on the ugly edge. Boom. I just cut that in half. Let's do that. It's always good to have a good sharp rip saw. I'll be back when this is done. Got four pieces, all four sides. All about the same length, same thickness. See on YouTube, they always have weird camera angles. How's it doing? Is it working? I don't get it either. Maybe this one will be better. Sides, I put my mitered 45s on all eight corners, well, four corners, but eight times. Pick the outsides, go with that. Got old. Let's see how this works. Now that I have my four sides too short, too long, I'm going to put the groove in the bottoms and the tops that are known as a rabbit or a rebate, depending on where you're from. I prefer rebate, even though the U.S. seems to go with rabbit. All right. After that, we'll use a Stanley number 45. It's a combination plane that does rabbits, rebates, does uh, dados, all sorts of goodness. And I'll be right back with that. All right, a little bit of setup. We got this. It's going to make the groove in these pieces. Right. Anyways, that'll work. All right. One issue you'll have when you have cats in the shop. They sit in any box that you leave open, even with sharp stuff inside. Not real smart. Not real smart, Kitty. Alrighty.